from a rare tornado in the Czech Republic that tore through several villages to a sudden flash flood in Omen that nearly swept some locals off their feet to a driver in Germany who made a daring escape when a twister came through town to a bridge in the Middle East that flooded during rush hour traffic. Here are 10 amazing natural disasters caught on camera. Rustock is a small town in the northern part of Omen. It is in the Albatino area. The Al Hazm Castle is a great example of Omani Islamic design going back to the early 18th century if you like old buildings. It was built to handle big hits and bad weather like flash floods. On October 11, 2022, people in Rustock got together to watch floodwaters rush down a riverbed. As the dirty water came closer, everyone had to run for safety because they were all standing too close together. In about 30 seconds, the scene changed from calm to catastrophic. People in the river didn't think the water would come so fast. In the past few years, flooding has become too common in Omen. In April 2023, the Sultanate announced plans to build three new dams to try to control the water in the future. Most of the flooding in the country happens in the Wadis. Wadis are valleys, ravines, and waterways in the Middle East that are dry when it's not raining. However, when heavy rainstorms hit, these Wadis can quickly fill with water and flood. On June 24, 2021, a strong EF4 tornado hit the Czech Republic and ripped through several villages. Keep in mind that storms like this don't happen very often in this part of the world. It was the biggest tornado ever reported in Czech history and the deadliest tornado in Europe since 2001. As the tornado got closer, people in the Hobonin neighborhood hid inside their homes and filmed it. They could do nothing as everything in its path was destroyed. Please thank the tornado. The video stops just as the tornado is about to hit their home. But another clip picks up where the first one left off. When the tornado breaks the window, listen to the chaos that results. When the storm hit, fortunately no one was hurt inside the home. But you can't say the same about other places in the Czech Republic. About 121,000 homes lost electricity because of the storm. It damaged or destroyed more than 1,200 buildings and caused more than 15 billion Czech crowns in damage. The tornado in the Czech Republic was a small part of a small spread that day across Europe. According to the European Severe Storms Laboratory, seven tornadoes touched down in Poland, the Czech Republic, Germany, France, and Russia. Only 300 to 400 tornadoes happen every year in all of Europe. Catastrophic flood and storm conditions destroyed the entire Black Sea area of Turkey in August of 2021. The weather began on August 7 and continued until August 14. Rain caused rivers to overflow, resulting in flash floods and landslides in several towns. In some places, the water got up to 13 feet high. Rain caused the Izina stream to flood quickly in Boskert, a small town of 5,300 people on the Black Sea coast. Someone took a video from their balcony as water and debris broke through the barrier. The person with the camera gets a great view of the trash flying down the stream. Some people run up to the wall to get a better look, but when water breaks through the barrier, they have to go back. The water is moving so quickly for a reason. The fact that the land around the Izina stream is steep makes things even worse. The water pretty much just ran downhill and flooded the whole town. So there it is. Foreign, the fact that a cement truck was carried by the flood shows how strong Mother Nature is. Even though it rains sometimes around the Black Sea, flash floods have become worse in recent years. Along the riverbeds, many homes have been built. As water runs through, it wears away at the base, which can cause it to fall and kill people. Suleiman Soilu, who is in charge of the Interior Ministry, said that the rains in August were the worst he had ever seen. Hundreds of villages lost power, bridges were washed away like toothpicks, and almost 500 buildings were destroyed or damaged. Istanbul is Turkey's biggest city. In the past, it was called Constantinople. It is the artistic, economic, and political center of Turkey. About 19% of Turkey's total population lives in and around the city. That's about 15 million people. At the end of September 2017, Heavy rainstorms hit Istanbul and the area around it. When the ground began to shake, people living in the mountains outside of the city were compelled to leave their homes. All that rain caused one of the most crazy landslides that has ever been caught on camera.
you can't help but feel sorry for the man with the umbrella when you're abroad. We don't know if that was his home that got washed away, but he sure seems to care about it. We think that nobody was in those buildings when the collapse happened. Some people in Turkey weren't as lucky though. Turkey is very likely to have landslides because of its temperature, geology, and geography. Most of the time, they are caused by strong rainstorms, earthquakes, or both. Landslides were the second worst natural disaster in Turkey between 1929 and 2019 after earthquakes. You probably picture harsh areas and extremely dry conditions when you think of the Middle East. There can be a long time between rains in places like Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Oman. Some parts of the country receive only about 3.9 inches of rain each year on average. But in July 2022, the Middle Eastern country of Oman got about a year's worth of rain in just two days. As we said before, all this rain is enough to flood the dry canyons called Wadis that run through the country. When the Wadis flood, the water has to go somewhere. In fact, it takes less than a minute for the water to cover the road. SUVs were able to get through, but cars had a harder time. Also, everyone had the same idea. Get out of there as soon as possible. The cars that have to back up are the ones causing the traffic jam. Most people in the back didn't know what was going on. It looks like everyone made it across the bridge even though it was flooded. Once they pass the halfway point, we no longer think they are in danger. In Washington State, USA, tornadoes aren't very common. The NOAA says that only 131 tornadoes have happened in the state between 1954 and 2022. In 1972, the worst happened, causing more than $25 million in damage. In 2022, a local man caught on camera one of those rare tornadoes in Washington. He told his daughter to go hide in the basement, but it sounds like the stubborn teenager wanted to see the tornado for herself. She might never see one again after all. You never know what will happen. Just get moving. You have a video of it. This is great go. At last, the weather people around here get something right. John, I hope you and your family are okay. Come on, that kind of storm is more common in Kansas or Oklahoma than in Washington state. Early on in the video, our shooter makes a good point. Even though the storm is so far away, you never know when it will change direction. At any time, the storm could have turned hard left and smashed right through their home. From what we can tell, the tornado moved over land most of the time and didn't do that much harm. The small city of Paderborn is in the middle of Germany. It is home to about 150,000 people and is known for having the Heinz Nixdorf, which is the world's biggest computer museum. During World War II, about 85% of the city was wiped out. In 2022, after years of building back up, a strong tornado tried to bring everything back down. On Friday, May 20, strong storms were possible in most of northern Germany, which was under threat level 3 of 3. Now, level 3 usually means strong winds, big hail, a lot of rain, and maybe even tornadoes. One person was driving around the city when they got caught in the middle of the storm. The wind is getting stronger to the right. As soon as the light changes to green, a tree falls almost in the middle of the road. Our driver drives as fast as he can through the light, which helps clear the tree line before more snow falls. It looks like they are over the worst. Even though it's raining nonstop, at least flying trees aren't going to hit their car. A path of damage was left by the German tornado as it went through the city. On that Friday, four more tornadoes hit the area. Three of them were in different parts of Germany, and one was just across the border in the Netherlands.